Thanks for tuning in to My Blind Lady. We're going to give you 11 tips for buying blinds. Now here in this video, you're not going to get all 11. I will put a link to the blog post where you can view all 11. I'll cover just some of the basic and probably the most important ones. The first one being warping. Um, you know, with here in Louisiana, the hot and high humidity can uh, wreak havoc on uh, some blinds, depending on what they're made from. Mainly it's when you find blinds that are made with PVC and vinyl materials because those materials are more susceptible to heat and I have seen those warp before. The other is with, um, if you're looking at real wood, how the louvers and the blinds are cut. If it's corner, quarter sawn or plain sawn, now I'm going to post a little video right here that will kind of go into the different type of cuts. Here's a really good blog by a company called Grandior. They do custom kitchen and bathroom cabinets. This blog goes into some really good depth on the difference between plain sawn and quarter sawn wood. They give some good illustration here and go into detail of that. The one thing with the plain sawn wood is it is beautiful. You see the really nice wood grain lines, the striations here in the wood, and um, it's really pretty, uh, however we have seen in homes with blinds and also shutters made this way, they're more susceptible to warping, we have seen several that over time just don't hold up. Quarter sawn, so it is one of the most expensive ways to cut lumber, not many factories uh, do this type of uh, sawing and it's it's expensive to do except it does hold up over time it is stronger and you'll see right here that they go into detail of it um, it's a lower yield so it is more labor intensive higher cost um, but it is uh, there's no twisting warping or cupping it's a very resistant uh, way to cut things and um, lines are generally a little more symmetrical on the quarter saw you see here uh, but go and go and check this article out I'll put a link to it and you can go read all about the different types of cuts there's two different methods for installing blinds there's an inside mount and an outside mount which you see right here in this picture with outside you're going to be able to cover those light gaps which can appear on the inside between the blind and the window casing or if you have sheetrock um, can have some small light gaps. Um, the biggest thing that we do in our blinds is uh, called the uh, smart privacy and you'll see them in this uh, picture right here where we show how those holes, you see the holes on the left side that's from when manufacturers run the strings through the louvers well, with ours, we're running them on the outside so we avoid those light gaps. Uh, another tip for buying is safety. You know, it's been really big over the last few years. Uh, the push to, uh, here you see the picture of that ominous uh, hanging up there that they're putting on all the blinds with uh, cords, you know, just warning you. So uh, being able to get them without uh, cords is a plus, especially if you have children. And we do offer those. Um, so here you're going to kind of see a clip of the blinds that we offer through Norman. Very high quality. Um, we do a faux wood and a real wood on these blinds. Here they're showing the cordless. How you can easily raise and lower. It's very smooth operation. And um, hardly ever uh, gets um, out of alignment. Cordless is standard. So we do offer those uh, for safety, and uh, we'll take a little look here more at these blinds. They are an award-winning uh, better light and privacy control. You can see how they lay really, really flat when you close them. These are beautiful. See that smooth operation? That's a co-extruded HTD slat, and a Polydeco head rail. That polydeco is strong. Um, I've seen where they've they've hit it with different items. It, it doesn't uh, 
it's really hard for it to crack or anything like that. Here's a mounting on a door. Now, one of my tips I put in the blog was about can you mount them on doors? Yes, you can. Uh, we highly recommend a hold down bracket at the bottom so those blinds are not flapping, hitting the bottom of the door when you're opening and closing them. All of ours have this integrated light block, which you see here when they close. See how that top louver cinches up? You'll see it right here from the back side. So you're getting a light block at the top. Light's not going to uh, peep in. There you see it being raised. It lowers very evenly. They're going to show how you really can't get it off kilter if you lift the right side or the left side. Um, it, it doesn't uh, make it uneven. It still goes back to its even state. That bottom rail is uh, engineered bottom rail. That way your hand, it's uh, ergo friendly. That way your hand can grab it. We have many different colors to choose from. Faux and real wood. Many different colors, printed colors. Those come in a two inch and a two and a half inch louver. We also have blinds with um, different materials, so fabric blinds. Um, people don't know that you can get them uh, like that, but we do offer those. And again, I want to thank you for watching our video. Like I said, I'll post the blog link below here if you're on YouTube. That way you can go to my website and read those 11 tips. You can use these tips anywhere. That way you get the best 